Hey there, how's everybody doing? It's Mark from Mr. Grooves. My dad made that for me a long time ago, found it in a box, so now I'm glad to put it up on display. I might move it around, I might not leave it right there. Right now it's kind of pushed back. I have some of my retro entertainment cars in front of it because you can see them easy. You can still see my name over there. It's kind of neat to see it. Uh, to remind. My dad's still with us. I'm not saying that he's gone or nothing, but it's just nice to have that little keepsake. I did a review uh, and unboxing of these uh, Hot Wheels oil cans. And this one right here is the Volkswagen panel bus. And I said in the front, it has that V shape like uh, it, it opens because I have another Volkswagen type model like this to where that top half opens up. This one, instead of them using the rubber bands, there's a plastic strap. So I can't, uh, I, don't, I don't know for sure, but there's no other reason for the strap to be on there unless it's to hold it closed, right? So I go into my collection and uh, I find another sample right here, except I realize, uh oh, this one has windows. Very, very similar. You can tell it, it's just, it sure looks like the same to me. Look at the front driver's side window. It sure looks the same. Even the wheel wells, all that stuff slammed to the ground, all looks, as, all looks the same to me. So I don't know if the inside of this one here is similar to this. By the way, when this was sold, um, it might have been in a preferred line, I forgot. But, uh, you know, there was a green version and there was a red version. But on the package, they called it the VW bus, which is not the VW bus. Check out that interior. You have a, a separate piece for the steering wheel. You have a separate piece for the uh, engine in the back. What is this? Oh, wait a second. Is this to hold it up? I didn't even look at this before. Oh, no, no. That's a driver's safety roll cage. <laughs> that makes sense. But uh, let's see, this is uh, this plastic, plastic, plastic. Oh, check it out. What is this? I have some tape on. Hmm. I don't know. That tape's been on there for a long time. Sorry if I was off camera. All of a sudden I looked to the side. Anyways, you have uh, two driver's seats. But I don't know if it's if it's the same as that one right there. I, now I mentioned they accidentally called this one the VW bus on the card. But on the bottom of the model, you can see it says VW Microbus. So that's what this one's called. You can see the rubber tires. Is this plastic? Nope. Metal base. Check out those rubber tires. And so this one is the Microbus. I got a couple others to show you. Microbus, but on the card it said VW Bus. Well, the VW Bus at the time. Oh, yeah. I just remembered. There was a story about this. I forgot. Uh, Oh, well, I, I tried to plan this out, and then all of a sudden, right this second, it dawns on me. Anyways, Microbus VW Drag Bus, and once again, it is a drag model. Big blown engine in the back. You have to be careful with these, because all that's holding them together is this little plastic clip right here. And that's it. So if you drop it and you break that clip, you can't pop it off. You can just take it right off. There's your uh, drag bus. And there's your body. Uh, the story was, I don't know if it's true or not, but an executive at Mattel, it was supposed to have the drag bus, but an executive from Mattel said, oh, no, 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 that drag bus we're saving for special purposes. You can't put that in a, in a regular retail line. Uh, that's, what, that's what the story I seem to remember. If you, were, if you guys have been around for a while, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, that's the drag bus. And then maybe you know about the Hot Wheels VW drag truck. Once again, opening features. This version right here is from a Target uh, box set, 10 car box set. Uh, came with the, this was the main vehicle right there. California Dreamin'. This version here has a translucent uh, mm, bed cover. Check it out. Two big blown engines. Uh, oh, I just did another thing here. See how they have a skinny wheels? This was not the first release of the drag truck. This one came afterwards. When it first came out, you see how they have skinny wheels in the front? So for the first version, I think it was a Toys R Us uh, special release, they had cut triangles, triangles in the base for the skinny wheels. So it was cut like this for the base. It wasn't wide open like this. Well, the only thing is then you can't put regular wheels in there. So now they, they made it like this so that they can use regular if they wanted to use wheels like this see now they have the opening in the base to use those wheels as well which brings me back to the micro bus and the panel bus 
Does that one open up? Well, more stuff in the collection. Here you have a Hot Wheels number five seven. Blah, blah, blah. Anyways, check it out. This is the I believe I'm pretty sure this is the original case. Look what's in here. VW's box set. You have VW's box set. You have a uh, classic Volkswagen Beetle. I don't know. Actually, I don't know what the actual name of that one. VW Bug. But there it is on the right. Just like this. See, there's no windows in the back. Yep, so that's the panel bus. And I'm looking at this one here. Yep, it looks like the panel bus. This one's held on with the strap. This one, though, rubber bands. And guess what? <laughs> Those rubber bands do not last. But uh, let's check it out. You ready? Da -da -da, da -da -da. <laughs> there you go. It opens up. So I only have one of these. I'm putting it on eBay, uh, even though I had a case and all the other models in the case were doubles. I don't know where my other one was. This is the only one I have, I have left. So I'll be selling that on eBay. I have extras of these VW sets as well. I will be selling those. And the Volkswagen right here, opening hatch in the back does have a rubber band. You want to take those rubber bands off. I've said this several times, so sorry for repeating myself, but not everybody watches every video. You want to take those rubber bands off because sometimes they stick to the paint and they cause damage to the paint. This one looks pretty good. So you've seen I had, a, I had the case. So there's, there's four. I have four of these. Over here, let's take a look at the back. VWs. Let me get in closer. And you can pause and read. And there's the bottom. Here's the real bottom. Let's see, copyright 2002. Yep, 18 years or 17 in case these were released the next year. By the way, the diecast dealer that I bought these from a long time ago, the address die label's still there. They're out of business. They, they don't even do diecast anymore. So I'm still not going to show the name. Let's see. See that rubber band came apart? Is it going to pop open? It might. Yep, there you go. I'm going to leave it just like that. And of course, when I sell it on eBay, I'm not, I'm not opening these up. Uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to let them go just like that. I'm not going to open it up, clean it up. I will be disclosing that right in the auction. Come on, two more. Oh yeah, nice. Acrylic box sets. Let's see. Well, here we go, two box sets. Here's the third. So I know for sure I have four sets and you guys will know too. People won't know on eBay. I'm not gonna say how many I have. When you're selling stuff, it's not good to let people know how many you have because they're gonna they're gonna sit there and they're gonna play the game. I know you have four, let me, let me have a deal on one of them. It's like, well, no. I'll sell one for whatever I can sell it for. And then I'll wait. I got time. I can wait. I have other things I can do. And then I'll put this one up too. But uh, you guys know for sure I have at least four. Check it out. Hard plastic. I should say acrylic. Limited edition for the adult collector. Take a look at the sides. There's the Hot Wheels 100% logo. That's one of the names. Uh, hey, I've seen something fly by there. That's what they used to call these 100%. But that was all the sites. I think that's it. So keep in mind, don't forget, they will be on eBay. Thanks for checking out the video. Uh, that slug bug looks nice too. I'm sure Amanda would like it, but nope. Gotta let it go. Thanks for watching. Happy collecting. Bye bye.